5 Important Lessons Young People Should Learn From Michael Dell Michael Saul Dell, the American founder and CEO of Dell Technologies, was born on the 23rd of February 1965 in Houston, Texas. Dell Technologies remains one of the largest technology infrastructure companies in the world. With a net worth of $28.6 billion as at September 2018, Michael Dell was ranked by Forbes as the 39th richest person in the world. So how did Michael Saul Dell amass the fortune and what can young people learn from him? In this video, we'll share with you 5 important lessons young people should learn from Michael Saul Dell. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Lesson 1. Find Your Passion When Dale was 7 years old, he purchased his first calculator. When he was 8, he applied to be tested for high school level skills in order to enter business early. In junior high school, Dale came across an early teletype terminal. Then. When he turned 15, he acquired an Apple II, his first computer, which he took part to learn how it worked. Dell discovered his love for computers and despite enrolling for med school at the University of Texas in 1983, he still pursued his passion single-mindedly by selling upgrade kits for personal computers. The Lesson for Young People While you may be multi-talented, versatile, and have robust skill sets, it is best to pursue what you are or can be passionate about. It is that passion that will drive you through the difficult times. Your passion will show in the quality of your work and fuel your efforts to become successful. Lesson 2. Invest in your dreams In his early teens, Dell worked part-time jobs. When he was 12, he worked as a dishwasher at a Chinese restaurant in order to fund his stamp collection. A few years later, Dell worked selling newspaper subscriptions for the Houston Post. While working for the Houston Post, Dell analyzed the consumer demographic and adopted effective practices based on his analysis, which earned him $18,000 in one year as a high school student. Dell invested his earnings from those jobs in stocks and precious metals. The lesson for young people Involve yourself now. Get conversant with aspects of whatever it is you have chosen to pursue and don't be afraid to invest in that. Dell worked hard to raise money and even while he did odd jobs, he still continued to work towards his dream. Lesson 3. Be industrious After high school in 1983, in Dell's first year as a pre-med student, at the University of Texas. He tapped $1,000 of his savings and started the business of customizing and upgrading off-the-shelf computers, then selling them to customers. Dell took advantage of the inefficiency of the retail channel in delivering PCs to customers and applied for a vendor license that allowed him to bid on contracts for the state of Texas. Without the overhead of a store, Dell was able to win bids he realized that as a manufacturer selling pieces directly to customers, his cost savings were very significant. Dell focused not only on making good machines but on strong customer support and cheaper competitive pricing. Initially, Dell operated out of his dorm room but the business grew and he eventually moved out. In his first month in business, Dell sold roughly $180,000 worth of pieces. In January 1984, Dell registered the company as PCs Limited. He later renamed it Dell Computer Corporation in 1987. As the company continued to grow, Dell then set his sights on overtaking IBM, the industry leader at the time. The lesson for young people Your vision is your own. Only you can fulfill it. Dell was able to analyze his options before making the decision to go further in his business. Critical thinking will help you make the right decisions at critical times. Believe in yourself first, otherwise you will have a difficult time getting others to believe in you. The point of learning skills is to use them as tools to accomplish objectives. 
Good confidence comes with hard work and practice. In Dell's time, it would have been considered shameful, even foolhardy, to drop out of med school. But Dell knew what he wanted and was able to push for it. Using confidence inspired by critical thinking and evidence, he was able to bravely make efficient decisions contrary to popular opinion at the time. And so can you. Lesson 4. Think hard, be innovative. In 1997, Dell became absorbed in finding a way to reduce the failure rate of his machines. This was even considered that his company's computers boasted some of the highest quality ratings in the PC industry. He believed reducing the frequency of hard drive handling during assembly was the solution. At the time, the handling count was more than 30. But after some extensive alteration to the production process, the count was reduced below 15. As a result, the rate of rejected hard drives dropped by 40% and failure rate of Dell PCs by 20%. Dell believed in constantly rethinking and improving his company's operations and that has helped Dell Computer Corporation remain successful. The Lesson for Young People don't get complacent because you have a system or method that works now. Your approach may not change or become faulty, but the world around it may. Get in the habit of reviewing your work and progress. There is usually a better way. Sometimes, these better ways are delayed due to infrastructure and timing. Seek improvement in every avenue and seize it when you can. That is how you stay relevant, competitive, successful and ahead of the curve. Lesson 5. You can't do everything yourself With his sights set on industry leader IBM, Dell in 1991 rallied his employees and succeeded in raising sales to over $800 million. In 1992, he set a target to surpass $1.5 billion that year. Dell, the overachiever, indeed surpassed the target with sales reaching $2 billion. However, the juggernaut he had created was growing at a pace too fast for the young entrepreneur. In 1993, the Dell Computer Corporation stock prices fell from $49 in January down to $16 by July. Dell CFO resigned, leaving a hole in management, and Dell had to scrap the company's new lines of notebook computers due to poor production. The company was sidelined for over 12 months of the fastest growing segment of the PC market. Dell realized he had to do something fast. He sought out more experienced managers to help him regain control of his nine-year-old wonder. He brought in Mott Tuffer, a seasoned executive from Motorola, to handle day-to-day -day operations, then Kevin Rollins to run American operations, an organizational expert from Bain and Corporation, and interestingly, John Medica an Apple PowerBook designer. Within 12 months, profit rose to $149 million. The Lesson for Young People Know your strengths and weaknesses. Surround yourself with people that complement your strength. Do not hope to be able to tackle every situation by yourself. It is unreasonable and disrespectful to those who have made themselves more capable of handling specific situations. Knowing where and how to get the right help when needed could be the difference between a bump in the road and the end of the line. In conclusion, if you are a young person and you want to be rich and successful in life, find that one thing that you love and let it make money for you. Work hard and invest your time, efforts and skills in your dreams. Do something different, look at gaps left by others and find innovative ways to fill them. If you have something that works, keep making it better because that's a good way to be successful. And when you get overwhelmed, do not hesitate to ask for help. Thank you for watching our videos. We'd like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. 
We love you.